So, you know me, I love solar punk. And last year I got in contact with Aska, who is a French and German based manufacturer for solar modules. And not any solar modules, they are customizable. And that caught my eye. Having generative art solar modules is the solar punk dream, I guess. <laughs> So maybe you remember the video where I got the samples from Aska and I was super impressed and now it's time to start the actual project. Last time I already mentioned I wanted to create a lamp and that is, but I came up with three constraints of some sort that I want to follow because I think they make sense. So first the lamp should have a feature that is only possible with the flexibility of Aska's solar modules, I think otherwise. It's sort of boring, right? Second, and here comes my love to generative art into play. The lamp should have some sort of playfulness because I cannot make thousand different versions of solar modules. That's the same problem that I faced with my Pico Planet boards, for example. So it's a manufacturing constraint that I cannot have thousand different versions. And the third is the power consumption. I want the lamp to be as self-sustainable as possible. So, you know, it should light, but it's fine to be just a decorative light with very few LEDs, so it shines nicely at night. But before I can start ordering solar modules from Aska, I first need to make a little prototype. So I came up with the following idea, which is a lamp, a hanging lamp, that mainly consists of the solar modules that are attached to cables on both ends. So they create little bows and you can rearrange them in different variations. And through these modules, I want to guide several fiber optic cables, basically, that shine when you light an LED in one end. And there are special ones that shine more to the, to the sides because the typical fiber optics cables would mainly shine light out of the end point again and not to the sides. And I want to have like glowy strips inside. So the first thing I need to do is create a little prototype so I can confirm a few things. First is size. So I have a rough estimate on how big I want the slamp to end up. But you know, sometimes you guess a size and you build it and you realize, oh wow, that's way too big or way too small. Then I also want to test these fiber light cables because I'm a bit unsure how well this will look in the end. And of course, I somehow need to figure out if the whole setup works in the way that I want it to work. Or maybe there are certain things where I need to adjust my idea. So, coffee's ready. I think it's time to go. See ya. Most important things for the prototypes arrived. For example, DC connectors, a fiber wire that hopefully should also shine through the sides. And most importantly, this big roll of plastic film. Oops, here we go. Oh well. Ah, there's protection film still on it. Ah, so it is indeed clear. I was worried I did buy a non-clear version. Okay, well, so this is a sample from Aska and the thickness uh, differs quite a lot between the border, which is way more flexible, and the inside which I think should have a similar, similar thickness to this one, but it feels, it feels thinner. It feels more flexible, I guess. Nah, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> it's actually, it's quite hard to compare. I don't mind scratches, so. So here we go, that's my clear film. And now I need to measure out the circumference of 
my future solar modules and design a template so I can cut it out from here. So I just assembled the prototype for the first time and I didn't have a place to hang it up properly. So <laughs> I put it in my apple tree. <laughs> so first things you realize is the big, the big ones, they are indeed a bit limp. So I put some sticky tape here so you have a better, better angle and then it's overall better. But they are still a bit weak. Okay, so obviously in the sun, <laughs> currently it looks very boring because they are fully transparent. I hope you can sort of see it in the video afterwards. <laughs> it's a bit hard to film actually. So, but I will wait until night and then make some new recordings with the light on and how it looks at night and how well the pattern shines through the fiber strings. I'm very excited to see this because I think that will give me a very good first impression on what types of patterns I might in the end fit on these future solar modules. So overall I'm really happy on how the prototype turned out. I think there's a few minor issues that I need to figure out and maybe with the help of Aska actually. So the big modules, the foil is I would say slightly too thin. So there's multiple different solutions to that. So maybe Aska has overall a thicker foil or maybe they can choose a thicker foil for me. Or, and this is something that they already mentioned to me, the point where I currently solder the cables is the weak point because all of the weight is lying on this single or on these two solder points. So there's definitely some sort of reinforcement needed, I'd say. For the base weight capsule, I have not fully decided on how I want to build it. I'd like to use some non-plastic materials, so it might be something out of wood from my laser cutter. And I could also play with generativeness here, so I could have different shapes for different lamps. And there's not much that needs to fit in, right? It's just the battery, the ESP or whatever type of board uh, people want to use and the charging board. And as this is the very, very first prototype, of course, in the next step, it will look nice, right? So the cables in the end will be sleeve, the boxes will look nice, there will be a nice hook on top that looks decent, and every weirdly soldered cable will be hidden in the end. <laughs> oh, what I really enjoyed with this super tiny ESP board, and I mean, it's tiny, tiny, <laughs> is this web flow for CircuitPython. Since the Pico Planets, I really enjoy using CircuitPython. And I never used it on an ESP32 so far. And with this little board, it's a bit more tricky because uh, it doesn't have a direct USB interface where it creates a boot drive. But you can use this Webflow thingy by Adafruit where you get full file access via a web interface, which is also super awesome. So what I think what also might be helpful to arrange the modules better on the whole setup might be little rubber O-rings that I could slip on the fiber wire. And with these you can, I think, better adjust the angle the modules sit in the whole installation. I think that might be a very easy, clean fix for a more sturdy setup. The lights overall look really cool, especially when it gets dark. Looks, I think it looks super nice. I read somewhere that when you paint the wire ends white or somehow reflect the light back into the wire it might get even brighter. I tried this, it didn't seem to make a difference. But in case you have any tips for me regarding that, please leave them in the comments. I would be super grateful. So I hope you enjoyed the process of this very very first prototype. I'm very excited for the journey ahead of this lamp project and if you don't want to miss any future updates please subscribe my channel and I hope to see you next time.